Welcome to a new uh, video on uh, uh, using Arduino with Tinkercad. This is an introductory video, so I'll go through and try to work through an introduction of what is uh, Arduino and Tinkercad. Uh, the assumption is that you've been using Tinkercad for a while for folks who are watching this. If not, uh, Tinkercad is a, is a piece of software provided by <clears throat> Autodesk. And simply going to the link think, thinkercat.com um, gives you access to it. You can log into it. And then you can either do 3D designs for designs that you want to print on a 3D, or you can build circuits and program them if you want uh, to build an electronic device. So we, today, what we're going to focus on is building a circuit. So uh, as part of the introduction, we're gonna use this, Arduino is a controller board. So when you're in your computer and you program your computer, uh, there is no way for your computer to interact with the outside world. Of course, if you got a monitor on it, your eyes can see what the characters are and uh, <clears throat> all of that. Uh, and also you have the keyboard, you can put keyboard in it, key keyboard typing in it. But how about if you want to move a motor or you want to turn the lights on or you want to some other things, then you have to have a way of getting your input and output from your computer. And that's where Arduino comes. Arduino is a board like the one shown here. Uh, it's made by a company called Arduino. This model is, is one of their most common models. It's called the Uno. And it basically hooks up through a USB cable to your computer, uh, as is shown here, and you can use it. So what we're going to do here today is actually we're going <clears> to, <throat> uh, as a way of getting introduced to Arduino, we're going to uh, build the circuit where there is one LED, one light emitting diode that you can turn on and turn off. So as it's shown here, so let's go ahead and get in there. So when you start working on this, it says Tinker it. If you don't have a file, you just can create a file. Just uh, click on the create and it will create a file for you. So <clears throat> this one is in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete all of this so we can, so you can kind of see how I put it together. Okay. So I'm just going to delete, delete uh, everything. Uh, sure. And basically, won't warn me about getting rid of things and all of that kind of stuff. So um, let's get rid of all of that stuff. Get rid of that stuff. Just clean the whole board off. And all you do, you highlight it and hit delete, and everything you don't want goes away. Okay. And we want to delete this one too. Okay, it's all gone. So first of all, I want to bring Arduino in. So if you don't know where it is, you just type Arduino. And it pops up, and we're using Arduino <coughs> um, Uno. That's perfect. We bring it in. Now I want to explain what it is. Of course, this is this is, but this is a connection to the USB connection to your computer. If you had the physical board, you would basically connect it to the computer. And everything we're gonna do under the code parts. Uh, actually, then then yeah, there's two ways to code it. I actually kind of like to do text. So I'm gonna get rid of all of this. So actually, most of this will come so on. So you can either do it visually or you do it that way. I actually would like to do it with the text so we can we can actually see how real computing works. So I brought it over, uh, put it wherever I wanna put it. And one, before we get into the coding portion of it, I wanted to explain um, what these pins are. Of course, it's got five volts ground and all of those things in here. And every time you click on a pin and draw, you're gonna get a wire to connect different things together, okay? We don't wanna do this, so I'm gonna start deleting this before. So highlight it, hit a delete, it's gone. Now, uh, it's got two things. It's got an output and it's got an input. It's got a digital input and output uh, pins um, the ones that have a little squiggly next to them, they're called, they have called pulsed modulation. In other words, you can, instead of giving it a, a value of zero or five, which is called digital, um, on or off, either high or low, that's digital. You can also give it something between zero and five by giving it a number 
and we'll get to that later on. For now, we just want to have a way of turning a light on, turning a light off, and what we're going to do, we get a high power and low power, uh, zeros and ones, to turn it on and turn it off. So, so that's what uh, that's what these pin can do for you. On this side, they also have analog input. So if you've got the, these pins here, can only see zeros and ones. But if you get over here, these one can actually um, um, <clears throat> read the value between zero and five, give you a corresponding number, usually between zero and two hundred and fifty-five where 255 is five volts and zero is zero volts. And every voltage in between is divided to 250 individual segments. So for example, if you have two and a half volts, you will have 126 or five or whatever works out there, 255 divided by two. So you will have 127.5, if you can have 0.5. So you're gonna have 127 or you're gonna have 128 there. So these are called analog ins, and of course these are just powers as we talked about it. So um, the other nice thing uh, Arduino has is that I can go ahead and add components in here. So let's let's say I uh, I'm looking. Um, I'm going to shut the code off so I can get to these stuff. So maybe I want to add a breadboard. Breadboard is a real convenient way of connecting things together. If you've never used it, I would encourage you to, to go ahead. Oops. All right. Looks like, so let's close the code. Go here and get rid of this and just grab the small breadboard and bring it out here. We'll just set it someplace. It really doesn't matter where we set it. And then, and then what we want to do, actually, I'm going to move it just a little bit over. So there's a little bit of overlap. So what I can do, um, these pins with the red line next to them, they're all connected to each other. And the blue lines are connected to each other right above this. So what I could do is take the five volts in here and connect it to here. So now, Every one of these have five volts in them. If I want to be really fancy, I can highlight this thing and change its color to red if you want to. And then ground. Now this is a little more than vanity because if you color these, they color your lines, they're a little easier to trace when you get lots of wires going. Okay, and then, and then I have to get an LED. LED is kind of an interesting character, an interesting thing in that I'm able to, <clears throat> I'm able to turn um, if, if I, oops, uh, let's put it someplace. If I um, uh, connect uh, to higher voltage, like a five volts here, and the ground on the other side, it lights up. Um, one minor detail is that it would be nice to put a resistor, usually a 100 ohm resistor, uh, to control the amount of current that goes through so we don't burn it out. So we just say 100 and the unit we select here and we call the unit ohms, okay? So now what we can do is, um, is uh, connect this pin, this pin to the higher voltage and goes through the height and it comes through here and goes through the resistor here. Now, these five pins are kind of, see how when I go over them, they're kind of shows a green highlight that they're connected. So each of these five are connected to each other um, vertically as I go over them. And then these guys are connected to each other, every five of them, like row 16 or column 16, all five are connected here and all five are connected here, but they're not connected across the way. So right now what I've done is I've got a five volts coming in here and going to ground. So if I, if I, oops, that was a mistake. So let me go ahead and take this off. I intended this one to be connected to ground, but I connected to the, so I'll go from here to ground. Now, this one, this one is gonna always turn on because it's always got a, oops, I could work on this better. So let me, let me fix this. So this resistor has got to go between this side, the side that is not bent on the uh, LED to ground. And this side has got to go, oops, it's got to go to VCC. 
So let's make that red so we know it's going to power. Okay, so so if in this case, uh, the, the way it works is it gives it five volts, five volt runs through the LED and to, through the resistor to ground. So when the current flows, the light will turn on. So if I start the simulation and the light turns on, it stays on. So that's not very exciting. I wanna be able to turn it on and I wanna be turned it off. So what I'm gonna do in order to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop the simulation, remove this wire from here, and I'm going to take the wire from here. And, and it's nice to do nice and clean li lines instead of just kind of going haphazard in any direction you want, keeping them horizontal and vertical as much as you can. So I connected to pin two. Now I can go with a program and make pin two be high or low, and then the light will turn on and turn off. So let's see how we do that. Now let's go ahead and take, take a look at the code here. Uh, in in um, Arduino, um, slash slash a comment. Comment is a, something we write that the computer doesn't care about. It is for human read. So I'm gonna write a note saying if somebody is blinking um, like uh, LED. A blinking LED example. We'll do that and we do a setup. So you have to tell him which pin is it and is the pin output or input. So I'm saying I've got a pin mode. My pin mode pin is number two. The pin I'm using is number two. This is where I got the number. And it's uh, I want it to be output. I want it to put something out here. And then, and then the, the, this one, the, the part, the stuff that you put between the setup, the curly bracket open and curly bracket only happens once. So everything here, everything here is done once at the start, okay? And then everything you put in here is kind of, as the name implies, loops. So everything you put in between curly brackets in this section keeps, repeating. Okay, we won't stop, it just keeps repeating. So what I'm gonna come in here and say, okay, write a digital, digital means write a one or a zero to pin two, the pin I'm using, uh, write a high on it. That means turn it on, a high, current voltage is higher here. So it runs through this and comes out of here and wait for a thousand millisecond, a thousand millisecond that is one second. And then uh, write a low here, okay? And so, uh, so again, pin two, make it low. After a second, make it low, which means the now is zero here. So the light will turn off and wait a second. So wait, wait another second and then repeat the process all over again. So what we expect to happen is when I start the simulation, now the light should blink on and blink off. So let's go ahead and start the process here and see what is happening. And there we are. You can experiment with this if you want. You can stop the simulation. You can go back and say, no, that's too slow. I want to turn it on. I'm going to leave it for a little bit of time, but I want to leave it off for a little bit longer. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn it on for a tenth of a second. I'm sorry, turn, yeah, turn it on for a tenth of a second, turn it off, wait for another half a second and try to repeat this thing. So if you start the simulation, you can see it turns off for a brief time and then uh, turns on. And you can play with this to do whatever it is that you want to do just to get a feel for it. So just, just as a review, we talked about what an Arduino is. You can purchase these for like a seven, eight bucks uh, to 10 bucks um, if, you, if you want to play yourself at home. Um, and, uh, and then uh, they're used to allow computer to send electronic signals to and uh, receive electronic signals from outside world. And you could use it to control ride, build robots, do whatever, whatever it is that's, that's just sense uh, temperature, sense heat, sense whatever you want to sense outside. But uh, for us, we, we, this was an introductory to the Arduino. We got that done. We learned a little bit about LEDs where you got a little crooked leg 
and the crooked lattice on the positive side and the linear straight is the negative side. If you put positive voltage on the crooked leg, and then it will light up. If you put it, if you put low on the crooked, uh, low on the outside, nothing will turn on. And we use that and the ability to turn to a high or low um, through this piece of code. We wrote up here, a piece of code that allows us to turn it on and off. That brings us to the end of this introductory one. My suggestion would be now that you have a little bit of experience, maybe try to speed things up, slow them down, do them in different sequence and just get a feel for uh, the fact that everything, every piece of code you put in here only gets executed once at the beginning, but everything you put in this sequence keeps repeating itself. All right, thanks for watching and uh, take care.